Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run 16-bit applications in Windows 10. So, this might be good, I guess. So, I think the 16-bit application is for the Windows 1.0, Windows 2.0, and Windows 3.1. So, so, let me show how to install. You need to download Wine VDM. So, download the link at the description below. So, so we're gonna go to download Vine VDM. So as you can see, we should download the the oh, the 16-bit engine. So we should go to releases. I think it's right here at the right. Then we should download the download link right here. This is the Windows version. For the for the thing, so let's go to the download. Let me take a while here, a bit. Um, copy some files. Up, after that, you should open the file. Then, and all you have to do is click the install button. It will install the the command. After you just installed, you will see the ap ap application. Okay, so let's run the application. So first of all, let's open the calculator. And as you can see, that is it still works. And as you can see, the calculator is not full screen enough because it is. Uh, let's see the adding add addition. One plus one and. I think this works fine. Let me check the version. It's a Windows 1.0. And oh my god, let me try divided by zero. Yep, error. Let's go to calendar. Which doesn't work for some reason, but you can actually run it here. And there we go. And as you can see, we're still running at this one, it's still working. Let's make it 9 a.m. video. Then edit, edit. All right, there we go. And then upload. Then, ten premiere. All right, this is the date, so it should go into that. Click the file menu, and I think this will work. So let's make a test cal. And there we go. Um, I think it's created file. I think it's this one right here. I hope this is in the cal calendar right here that maybe pop up here. Oh my god. Dummy. Yep, there we go. That's the calendar file. So let me just open it with. Oops, accidentally gonna be. Anyway, so I think this actually works in that. So I think this gonna be. And oh my god, that's a glitch here. But anyway, what application? Let's go with one card file. And it's working. I can type right here. And like that. The blue screen. Clipboard. I can put a clipboard here. So just like this. I should launch a notepad here. And it works. So I should run right here. And it's the old version notepad. Now I should want to copy this. Copy. Um, so I can go into control this and there we go. And then I think I just got a clipboard here. Pretty nice. What's one o'clock? The clock application. And it still works. Oh my god, this is the old version of clock running 
in Windows 11. So as you can see in Windows, we're running Windows 11. As we should, it's the up-to-date Windows 11. Now what should you should do when I run Rosy? Yup, it still works, so I should be in a... I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm not pretty good in here. And <laughs> it was just filled up, I don't know why. Terminal, let's one terminal. And there goes, so now I can make a terminal here. <laughs> and oh my god, how the terminal works. Anyway, what is setup? Let's do one setup secretly in here, so. Let's do. Should extract file. Um, okay. That's one setup in Windows. Windows thinks it's just gonna be set up, but it didn't want to work. It loads command line, but it it doesn't work. So, and kernel application cannot be one. All right, let's go to Windows 2.0, guys. That's this tree has has a app. This actually the applications. I think. Yup. Let's run a calculator again. And there we go. Now Windows isn't full screen anymore. Running 2.0. And this calculation is still working. And the calendar. And there we go. It's still running. And it's still running, but it still has a command prompt. I don't know why it's still there. The calendar is still there. As we can open this. Oh my god. The card file. And it's there it goes to working. I don't know why this pops up into the command prompt. Um, I can make it full screen. The clock application. It still works. The control panel. So you can you can actually change your blinking cursor. You can add a new printer. Add new font. And preferences, screen colors, and I'm just gonna change it to purple and a bit this one. Let me reset here so now we know background. I don't know why I didn't pick this one, by the way. Notepad, it still has an older version, but it's still there. As we could paint. Yep, now I can draw everything. So you can actually undo. So we can press Alt back Backspace to return it. Um, I'm gonna create a new one. Bro. The pipe app, this edit, and there we go to the program information edit. That's pretty good. Bro, see, it's the new version now, but it's better. The white is actually the the word pad in current version of Windows. Yep. Two works. So what is this PIF files? So these are the the shortcut to MS DOS. But it didn't work. It's too bad. Next up let's one Windows three point one. This is NT. But I think it is actually three point Oops, so I should want file. I think this is apps. Not apps, maybe this. Disk for apps. MSD. These are the config files. Oh, this is the sound.
where is the application this tree is actually the applications but it's an it's a came with error I think this is the actual application so let's extract the file um, let's extract the file then we should be change this to e yep didn't work because the application's name its code name is different but anyway let's want to set up for window Microsoft Office 4.3 so I hope it's gonna work so so to support the other people do you should make a pretty version of office here so I think it's gonna be faster it's annoying buzzing sound inside kind of annoying this could be my ps5 But the, the the system process is still there actually. Yeah, we kind of want to percent CPU. Let me turn up the sound a bit. There we go. I think the system uses a bit of RAM, and so one percent CPU. Is it too core? So I think it's a good one. There we go, the 4.3 is still there, as you should. Now I should extract the files. Alright, this is set up. Oh, there we go. And there we go, it's still working. And it full screen in itself, just like the older version. And let's make the this one. My name then my company which is this one my virtual company here there you go the product ID is okay installing components all right there we go the C drive now should you say program oh <laughs> How this okay? Oh, it crashes. We want to set up. Okay, so we should use a typical version because I don't, I don't want to make it this one. In case it's gonna be gonna go work, I said it could be five point oh. Um, yes, I think it's gonna work. I guess so. Even we're gonna work, so so far gonna be good. Yeah, we can install it for fake user. I'm gonna be gonna work, guys, for that thing, so it's okay about it. So, it's gonna work, by the way. So, oh my god. Quick shop. It's actually the one on startup. Continue. Check for necessary this space. And there we go, we're just installing. Alright, so we can see the screen into this file register. The Lotus space is not completed successfully, bro. Has has can be one CD. Oh, I hear some conclusion. So the 16 bit only works in here, but the summary application like MS Office didn't work. So it's just because of the the compatibility issues and the where the folder gonna be installed, which is on a 16 bit and the engine it didn't work. Yes. So, but I probably. This could be the good video. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you again for my next video. Take care.